How's it going everybody? My name is Eric Hugh here from Green Juice Studios and today I got some very exciting news for you guys. I actually just ordered a Elgato game to capture game to game to capture debate. So uh, yeah, and I actually ordered this Monday and it came in a couple days ago. So I've been saving it up for a really cool unboxing video for you guys. Um, there's not a lot to it, but the, but this is probably one of the most highly requested or um, not requested, but highly used capture cards out there. My friend Ray actually also has a capture card, but he doesn't have the Elgato. He has a different uh, El capture card. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. I would highly recommend if you guys uh, are wanting to get some capture, um, some uh, gaming footage from consoles and all that stuff. Uh, I would highly recommend this because every other YouTuber and every one of my friends also wanted me to get this as well. So this is probably the coolest and not as expensive little capture card. I, I got this for 170 bucks off of uh, GameStop. You can get it off of Best Buy. You can get it off of uh, the capture, uh, GameCapture.com. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. My hair is a mess. I look awful. So let's get to it. Switching cameras. Okay, so I'm, I apologize if I try not, if I try not to hit the camera because my arm is over the camera right now. You know, just do this. Okay, there we go. Um, there, I'm horrible at unboxing videos. So uh, yeah, I'm trying not to hit the microphone right now. If the microphone doesn't work, then that's fine. So you guys can hear me, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this guy. Um, I don't have fudge nuggets. Get me a second. Okay, so I'm not going to use the microphone, I'm just going to use my own voice and everything, so hopefully you guys can hear me behind the camera. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and get, open this thing up here. Use scissors, folks. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys what's going on in here. So, paper. Get out of here, box. Okay. So there you go. You can see that. So there's that little thing there. Um, all the details and designs is also what include uh, comes in the box here. If you can see that on the camera, these are all different little things. You get the card itself. You also get a guide, USB cable, HDMI cable, PlayStation 3 cable, and component. This also plays retro games, not just new games or um, new consoles. I mean, uh, full 1080p, which is nice. This isn't 60 frames per second. If you wanted the 60 frames, you can go ahead and get the different version, which is the newer one, the uh, Elgato Game Capture HD 60. This is just going to shoot in 30 frames per second, which is all I need. I don't really need 60 frames per second because I can always render the video in 60 frames per second. So, uh, yeah, so um, you got to make sure it's compatible with these certain requirements. Uh, I might use my old laptop in order to do this, uh, however, I might get a third monitor over there. Um, to uh, play some of the Xbox stuff. I'm actually going to be playing a, a Halo 5 soon, so look forward to that. That's probably going to be... Ow, my band aids come off. <laughs> That's probably going to be the first thing I'm going to be working on for you guys. Uh, hopefully I have the time, because again, I am in college and it is very difficult to record stuff. Uh, and also come up with sketch video ideas. Um, but I've been also struggling in college, because some of the classes I'm taking are extremely difficult. So, but enough yapping uh, about my life story. Go ahead and open this up, but be careful. Um, so, yee. Wow, that is extremely lightweight, too. That is awesome. Yeah, and, and the other one, actually, um, the 60, actually, the Game Capture 60, it is a little bit lightweight, but it doesn't record old retro games. Like, you see, that's what this port is for. I don't know if you can see it. The AV uh, in port, that's for, like, GameCube, NES, N64, uh, any older uh, consoles that you guys have. You can plug it into here and plug it into the TV. And also, this also hooks up to your laptop, desktop, wherever you, whatever system you want to plug it into. And it's super easy, which is nice. So you plug it that to the TV, that to the console, that to the computer and this to any kind of uh, older console if you want to. Uh, that's why I love this because uh, I might be playing some old retro games besides the Halo 5 coming out soon because I know that's a brand new game coming out. I'm also going to be pre-ordering the game as well. Uh, ooh, shiny. Let's get all my fingerprints on it. Mine! Mine! Nobody can have it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, this is really nice. It's a nice little thing uh, I got for 170 bucks. Super easy. 
Uh, it has to work with a two gigabyte hertz uh, computer system, which my Windows 8 is actually more powerful than that. There we go. <laughs> I've been studying the two different versions. Like they wanted to get the 60 or the HD, you know, the original one like this one. Uh, I wanted to get the original because I I don't really play a lot of the new games, but some of the games I might like, like Halo 5 that comes out, or any other uh, uh, Battlefield games that might come out, um, or Call of Duty, oh, Black Ops 3 is coming out soon, so I might be playing a little bit of that with my friends. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I probably might be playing just some old retro games with my friends, and my thing is way off the screen right now, sorry. So, yeah, so that you can plug in some old consoles there, some retro games. You can also plug in new consoles directly to your PC. I think there's, um, I think I remember researching this, and you can also plug this into your console, and it can also pre-record your stuff. Like, if you don't even hit the program button uh, in the system, which I'll show you in a second, uh, you don't have to hit the record button, and it, all, and it will save your video or whatever last uh, process that you had, like in Call of Duty for instance, it'll save your last game, which is really cool. Alright, so what do we got here? Put that box out of the way. Put that there. You see that? Yeah. Uh, so you got some wires here. This is for, yeah, some GameCube stuff, like I said. Uh, you can also plug it into the TV for H for full HD, like in the Xbox 360. Uh, I'm actually going to try this out here in a minute. I don't know which console I will try, but I think I'll try my NES that I still have. I'll give that a shot. Uh, see how that works. But I have to probably replug it over here. I'll try it on my laptop and see how fast it is, because my laptop is extremely slow. But uh, yeah, so I'll give it a shot. You also got this. Ah, oh, see? It comes with a GameCube cable. Oh, that's awesome. You see that? Well, let me give out the bag because I'm an idiot. Oh, shit. I almost knocked over my microphone. <laughs> my bad. Eh. Oh, what the heck? Ah, cool. That's awesome, actually. So you can probably plug it into the game. Oh, oh, no, this is the PlayStation thing. My bad. I don't play PlayStation, so... There you go. I don't like it. I don't like you. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying PlayStation is bad, I just never grew up with PlayStation stuff. I grew up with Sega, and Nintendo, and then I got into Xbox and Call of Duty. I uh, wasn't really a PlayStation person because the button combinations is really confusing. Yes, okay, so there's the USB cable, you can plug that in the computer, that's a little thing here. So, uh, what's this? This is, oh, oh, it comes with HDMI cable, okay. Idiot. Ah, sorry, hit the camera, my bad! It's a pretty simple hookup device, which is super nice. Nothing too complicated. You can take it on the go, put it in the box. I'm actually going to keep this box. Whoa. <laughs> I was looking at the camera. Um, I'm actually going to keep this box for storage, so if I want to take it to my friend's house and record some Mario Party or something, I'll go ahead and put it in right there. And it's super cool. So, but yeah, Oop, I'm going to keep that, actually. So, I would recommend this. It, and it's not expensive. Surprisingly, it just depends on where you get it. When you get it from the website, it might be a little bit more expensive, but when you get it from like um, GameStop or when you get it from Best Buy, you might get a price match from Best Buy and get it lower. Like you can get it at Best Buy, I think, for $135, but again, it depends sometimes. Uh, but yeah, so I would highly recommend this little device here if you want if you wanted to start doing console games, uh, or you can check out some of the other um, capture cards as well. I'll leave a link in the description at the one my friend Ray has if you guys want to start off with that one instead of this one. Um, but So uh, now we're probably just going to go ahead and try the... It does come with a program thing, does it? I can't get it out of my face! Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, this is... Uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox, 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 Xbox. Oh, these are just ports. Okay, this is just telling you, telling you how to set it up and all that. Oh, that's not in English, you idiot. <laughs> Um, but I think what you do now is you just plug it in? I don't know, we'll find out. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, so we're in the program right now. We're actually going to be checking it out. So right now, I got my NES all set up and ready to go. So uh, pretty much what you got over here is that uh, you have your volume settings for your microphone, your game settings, and if you want to live stream, you can live stream over here on the green there. So uh, for the gaming volume, you're probably going to want to look at and make sure it's all sectioned out and ready to go. But this is all my settings right now. 
Uh, so you want to put it on composite if you want to record any older games just uh, and set the quality to wherever you want. Uh, just make sure the quality matches how much your computer can handle it. Like my laptop had I only handled 720p, so uh, I had to put it at 720 and only at 60 frames per second. So, uh, then we go over to your volume here. So this increases it. You can also change the game volume. You can turn it all the way off if you want. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. Uh, so right below that, right below that, you got these two guys. So this one is for when you do live streams. Uh, so you could be able to hook up to YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whenever you want. Let's sections here. And you can be able to, uh, showcase whatever game that is you're playing. And also you can also set up your, uh, microphone, uh, to however high... Uh, to whatever volume setting you want. I'm probably gonna leave mine at medium Because uh, I'm probably gonna be recording my microphone live as soon as I can figure out how to set my microphone up <laughs> So uh, and then you can also change the name of your video uh, What game you're playing you can also uh, Give a description of it or what you're doing uh, Where else? Okay, what's this thing? Okay, so yeah, you got your microphone here so you can turn it on off if you want it to live cast over what it is that you're playing, no matter what video game it is. You hit this little big red button if you want to record, too. So, uh, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so go ahead and hit that button whenever you're ready. Uh, just make sure all your settings are ready to go. Uh, cause you can see that timer right down below there. Six, five, four, nine. What that's doing is that it's recording your footage. So you can actually... Uh, go back and re-see what footage you've had for the past minute, let's say. Uh, so... Uh, oh! Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is really difficult. I'm actually looking at the monitor while I'm doing this. Nice, I got a mushroom. So I'm actually playing this off of my TV screen. I was able to hook up the capture card to my TV, you know, and, uh... Like, it is a little... It's like five seconds... Five seconds behind on the computer, but... It still runs pretty well. Like, this is all 1080p right now. This is nice. Uh, that, yeah, oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's about it, really. So, uh, I also am gonna try out another gameplay footage. You just hit the button to stop and check out this piece of footage. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, also, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything, or if you want to request any games for me to play, I will be playing Halo 5 in the future. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you goons later.